begin. Hi, my name is Bethany Kiefer. I work with City Arts as a youth instructor. Uh, we've partnered with Trees for Life about sharing art lessons that we do with youth students. Uh, this is meant for children anywhere from ages four, really to adults, enjoy this project. Uh, Sumonagashi is what we're going to learn about today. Sumonagashi is an ancient uh, Japanese art form that was about marbling color, uh, doing transfers with floating ink on water onto paper. Now we have changed that a little bit by using uh, watercolor. We use watercolor and then shaving cream. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do this today. Uh, first off, a good way for teachers to relate this to students is to talk about their culture, what kinds of traditions that they may use or have grown up with um, as far as their culture goes. I know I have a Syrian background and um, through our heritage, uh, ornate tapestries done through fiber art and weaving is a tradition that we have learned. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and continue with the project. If the students don't know about their heritage, please encourage them to talk to relatives to find that out, a good way to relate back to the project. Here are some examples of sumonagashi after it is dried. This is a kind of end product we would like to have. It's a great project because uh, there's no right or wrong way to do it, and I feel like students really enjoy it whether or not uh, they have had practice in it. So materials that we'll need for this project is shaving cream, watercolor, uh, uh, watercolor brush, we're going to actually use the end of that, paper towels, a tray for us to do the work on to help contain the mess, uh, paper to do our transfers on, doesn't matter what kind of paper, you can use uh, computer paper or thicker watercolor paper. Uh, and then also some kind of scraper to scrape the excess off. You could use a thick cardboard uh, to do that as All well. Right, so we're gonna start by putting some shaving cream down on the tray. Don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna mix that up with my hand. And teachers, you want to help the student get the shaving cream out on the tray, but then encourage them to use their hands as a sensory activity to get that moved around. You can use a paper towel to clean off the excess mess. Then we're going to select a watercolor and help the students with this. They only need just a few drops. I'm going to choose a different color. I'll do blue, and I would encourage the students to try a few different colors. And I'm going to do purple. Okay, next you're going to take your uh, watercolor brush. We're going to use the end of this and use this as kind of like a mixing tool. And we just move it around. You want to cross through as many lines as you can. And you're going to see it's going to start to make a pattern. Once you feel like you like the picture that you have, you can go ahead and take a piece of paper and place that down, lightly pat it, and then pick that up as easily as you can. This is what it's going to look like. We'll take our scraper and scrape the excess off. And look at what a cool picture that makes. Look at that pretty marbling it does. The wonderful thing with this is you can just keep reusing it and use many different pieces of paper to make different products. I think the kids will really enjoy it. That's it for today's lesson.